this is the meat target. And for those who haven't seen it before, it's leather jacket skin, followed by pork chop pectorals, pork ribs, a bag of oranges to simulate lung tissue, more pork ribs on the back. And we're going to cover it with two layers of t-shirt. Now this is a medium that I've used to test rifles, pistols, shotguns, a lot of different types of ammunition. But quite a while ago I did a presentation on throwing tomahawks and throwing knives. And recently some people have asked to see what a thrown tomahawk or a thrown knife would do to the meat target. So here we are. So let's throw a tomahawk at this and see what happens. And let's start with the knife. That didn't seem to do much. Let's try the tomahawk. That didn't seem to do much either. Let's take a closer look at the target. Now both the tomahawk and the knife hit fairly straight, and even though they didn't stick, they did do some damage. The knife penetrated through the t-shirt, went through our leather jacket skin, and into our pork chop pectoral about an inch. The tomahawk, not as much damage. Even though the blunt force trauma of just getting hit with a tomahawk might do some damage, in terms of cutting our target, it cut the skin but barely touched the pork chop pectoral under it. Let's try this again. And again, we'll start with the knife. Well, that looked like it did a little more damage. Now let's try the tomahawk. And it still bounced off, but that doesn't mean it didn't do any damage. Let's take a closer look. Now, looking at our knife wound, that knife went in a couple of inches and sliced our pork chop pectoral pretty well. However, it did not go in deep enough to get to our lung tissue, and so I wouldn't call that an immediately life-threatening wound. And our tomahawk, even though it appeared to hit pretty well centered, I don't see where it did any damage at all. Let's try this one more time. Now this time there's no t-shirt on the target, so he's naked. Let's see how much difference that makes. Looks like it makes quite a bit of difference. Now that tomahawk may not have hit really well. We'll try the tomahawk again. Our knife appears to have gone in quite a ways. Let's measure this. When we put it up to the side, it did in fact go into our orange lung tissue. That's still not something that in most cases would be immediately debilitating, but it would be a very serious wound. Now when you see the Hollywood fakery where someone gets hit by a thrown knife and just falls over dead, for the most part that is just Hollywood fakery. But this would be a very serious wound. Now our tomahawk didn't hit the target quite the way I wanted it to. So let's try the tomahawk again. Now that should have hit pretty well dead center. Let's take a look at the damage it did. Now I actually threw the tomahawk a couple of times off camera in addition to what you saw and got very little damage. What damage you're seeing here is just where I peeled it back to see if there was any damage done other than what was readily visible, and there wasn't. About the best that it did was cut the duct tape and didn't cut the leather jacket skin at all. So there was very little sharp force trauma, and there was a little bit of blunt force trauma, but no more than you would have caused by throwing a hammer. Now make no mistake about it, a tomahawk can be a formidable weapon. But throwing a tomahawk, for the most part, that's a parlor trick. And of course there's different designs and different weights of knives and tomahawks, so somebody else on a different day might get different results than what I got here today. So, as always, don't try this at home. I'm what you call a professional, and thanks for watching the Knife and the Tomahawk versus the Meat Target video.